Welcome guys on our YouTube channel Tech on the Go. Today I would like to compare between three Haswell E processors from Intel. The i7 5820K, i7 5930K and i7 5960X. Those three are really good performing processors. Although some people really get confused by Intel's product naming schemes. That's why I thought I should make a video on this topic. Let's begin. All those processors are supported only Intel's x99 chipset. All those processors support only DDR4 memory modules or RAM because of Intel's x99 chipsets. They all are made for enthusiastic platform. None of those have integrated graphics processing unit. i7-5820K have 6 cores with Intel Intel hyperthreading technology means it have 12 threads of total. It has total of 15 megabytes of cache memory. The processor's base frequency is 3.3 gigahertz and a boost clock up to 3.6 gigahertz, which is pretty good. It supports 64 GB RAM in quad channel memory configuration with a maximum memory bandwidth of 68 GB per second. It supports up to 28 PCI Express lanes. i7-5930K also has 6 cores and 12 threads, thanks to hyperthreading. Its base frequency is 3.5 GHz and turbo boost goes up to 3.7 GHz. It is also supported 64 GB DDR4 with same conditions as 5820K, but its maximum PCI lanes count goes to 40. Now the hero of today's topic, the i7-5960X, which is a 8-core beast. It has total 20 megabytes of cache. It is also hyper-threaded, so it has a total of 16 threads, which is good enough for nowadays. It also supports 64 GB memory with same conditions as the two other. It also supports 40 PCI Express lanes. Now let's straight jump into benchmarks. In Cinebench 11.5 i7-5960X scores 14.36. The i7-5930K scores 11.5. The i7-5820 K scores 10.98 on Adobe Premiere Pro 1080p rendering i7-5960X complete the rendering in 18 seconds the i7-5930K completes in 23 seconds and i7-5820K completes on 25 seconds now let's go to gaming benchmarks on Battlefield 4 1080p resolution ultra settings, i7-5960X is at 116 frames per second. i7-5930K runs the game at 98 frames per second and i7-5820K at 99 frames per second, which is quite good. The Crisis 3 1080p resolution on very high settings. The i7-5960X is at 50 frames per second, the i7-5930K on 48 frames per second and i7-5820K fall behind by 45 frames per second. On Far Cry 4 1080p resolution in ultra settings, the i7-5960X is at 74 frames per second i7-5930K is at 69 frames per second and i7-5820K is at 68 frames per second. Now let's see the power consumption in watt. The i7-5960X draws 75 watt power on idle. The i7-5960X draws 309 watt power under full load. The i7-5930K on idle draws 76 and 261 on under load. i7-5820K draws 75 on idle and 240 under load. Now let's jump to conclusion. 
these all are a very good processors for all kind of tasks but there are some differences the i7 5960x performs much better in rendering as well as games thanks to its two more cores and four more threads the i7 5930k can hardly touch it in rare cases but i7 5820k cannot but you should keep in mind that there is a huge price differences between i7 5960x and rest of two which it uh, when it comes to performance per watt the 5930k clearly wins here and the performance per dollar ratio tells that 5820k is the winner but 5960x has the most power now it is your choice that which one is right for you i hope my video helped you somewhat in deciding it thanks for watching guys please like this video if you liked it and dislike it if you disliked it leave a comment let us know what do you think about i7 5960x and please don't forget to subscribe i hope you see in my next video